Behind closed doors, the Freemasons were free to indulge in the secret rites and rituals handed down to them by their ancestors. And these became the basis of their levels of membership, called degrees. Degree, degree. scientists need to discover is the wisdom of the Atlantean technology of the standing columnar wave and solitron energy fields. The Tesla coil as well as structures such as the pyramid are simple antennas designed to activate the grid system and power the world with inexpensive energy. The secret of generating power from the worldwide grid system is to develop a way to properly tune the pyramid or coil antenna. At the present time this is not achieved as not enough scientists have studied the power source called the world grid. The ancient people used the world grid to achieve levitation and worldwide communication. This is why pyramids are found all over the world. The Giza pyramid in Egypt is a coil generator and was built to tap into the grid. The main control panel for this was the Ark of the Covenant. Beneath the Great Pyramid was a flooded area, whose purpose was to set up a ground plane. The primary coil was designed into the pit area, and the secondary coil was developed between the pit and the king's chamber. The capstone was the discharge point. There are two types of Egyptian coil designs, one which is forced energy design similar to the Tesla coil and the other being a passive coil. The passive design is used between the relationship of an obelisk and a pyramid. The pyramid and obelisk generate standing columnar waves. The electromagnetic fields created between them cause the energy to flow from one to another via a spiralling arc of energy of which the frequency can be changed by the angles and size of the obelisk or pyramid. By controlling the flow of the magnetic currents of the Earth, this whole planet could and can be engineered to benefit mankind. Humanity could control the weather, stop earthquakes, cause water to flow out into the deserts and control the elect electromagnetic fields of this planet. With this type of engineering, cheap energy can be given to all of humanity. If a planned program was developed, then this planet could become a beautiful green garden and a lot more. Politicians funded by the Masons promoted the Masonic ideology. The secret lodges of the Masons were open to members of the French army. High-ranking officers and generals were indoctrinated to the Freemasons way of thinking. With the people, the politicians and the military of France under Masonic control, the Masons could finally strike. Freemasonry has worked in a hidden but constant manner to prepare the revolution. We are then in complete agreement that Freemasonry was the only author of the revolution 
and the applause which I receive from the left and to which I am little accustomed proves, gentlemen, that you acknowledge with me that it was masonry which made the French Revolution. When the so-called founding fathers of America landed on Plymouth Rock, not only did they bring with them disfranchised people, they also brought the free Masonic elements of Europe. The injustices which the fathers of America were escaping from in Europe was also to be found in the new land, in the form of a tyrannical British regime. In order to gain complete dominance of the new state, the Masons used the same methods to gain control of France. Although the British monarchy was run by the Masons, the American War of Independence was a necessary action, and the people involved in the war were expendable for the Masons to fulfill their dream. Emotions of the people were manipulated into anger, and just like France, anger turned into war. This time, however, previous mistakes would not be repeated. The near defeat the Masons faced against Napoleon and his army in Europe taught the Masons a lesson. Any forthcoming leaders of the resistance must follow the Masonic agenda. The best way to do this was to ensure the leader himself was a Mason, and the leader who took the war to the British was none other than George Washington. On the 4th of July, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was made. On the 17th of October, 1781, the British were finally defeated and surrendered the colonies to the Americans, and the world's first Masonic state was born, a nation that would represent Masonry in every way. A sign of the Masonic presence in America is plainly visible on the dollar bill, which carries a picture of George Washington, the first free Masonic president in the world, and a picture of the Freemasonic symbol of the so-called all-seeing one eye.